Well, good morning, folks. It's Richard Gene, the fishing machine here. I'm getting rigged up right here. We're going to catch us some crappie. Currently, the surface temperature is at 52 degrees. It's starting to warm up just a little bit. Now, today, we're going to be fishing under a float. It's been very, very effective here lately. And I'm going to use 8-pound test braid. And this is a little Daiwa reel, 2500 size Daiwa reel, and a sow belly rod, light action rod, light as a feather. And I have about four feet of fluorocarbon leader tied onto this braid. I joined it with a double uni knot. But right here's the business end. It's going to be, the water's muddy, cloudy. We've had a lot of rain here lately. But here is the business end. I'm just going to use a tube. And that's a 132nd ounce jig head. But I have this tube tied with a loop knot. But I don't like the length of it. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to cut it. Let me trim it up just right. Or just right for me. That's about what I want right there. The reason I'm using the sharp truce, of course, is because this water is muddy, it's high, and they can see that. That's a real visible color. And as muddy as this water is, it's muddy as a clay hole, folks. You got the fish slow. Let's look at the visibility. This is what I'm fishing in. Might be able to see it better right here. That sharp truce really stands out. Now, if you notice, folks, when I put it in the water, watch how it flattens out. That's because of that loop knot. But now, the visibility is probably six inches. It don't take much action at all to get a crappie to bite. Yeah, I see that tree now. It, it, there's the root system up there, if y'all can see it. We'll see where that tree's crossing parallel with the bank well right under it there's just a big tree and it comes way on out in here yonder what it is right here there's some limbs see where that last limb is well there's some under the water that extend some eight to ten feet in front of that tree and those are the ones that i'm focusing on because they're deeper in the water column um, and they're over around six, seven feet deep. I mean, that tree's, the end of the branches is over six to seven feet deep. It's barely moving it. When I say barely moving it, I mean four or five inches and just let that jig settle back up under it. And in this case, the wind sort of has got a bow in my line. That's enough enough movement it don't take much movement whether the water's clear or muddy especially muddy you want to work a bait just as slow as you possibly can stand it folks and then a little bit slower That's a good one right here, folks. Let's see if we can get him. If I can get away from this tree. I'm fishing a tree out here in the middle. Golly, what a crappie. I'm going to have to show y'all this. One. But did y'all notice how that drag slipped when I set the hook? What happened? I got hung. That's exciting. I got hung on that tree, folks, and got it loose. And it triggered a response from this crappie right here. <laughs> Man, what a crappie. That's a slab daddy right there, folks. Oh, my. My, my. That's what I'm talking about. That's a big crappie. I'm going to measure that. And, whoa! I'm talking about... Whoa! Okay. <clears throat> Is fishing not a sport second to none sure it is a sport 
There's not their sport in the world like the sport of fishing. Whoa! You doggone right, I'm excited. Folks, I, you did blame right. I'm excited. That's a big crappie for this part of the country. Look at there. That's a darn slab daddy I'm talking about from a way back. Woo! My good, look how girthy that fish is. That's a monster. I'm gonna measure him. Now here, here on the Tennessee River, crappie don't get really that long. But I'm gonna tell you what, they get girthy. That's a heavy son of a gun. Let's see what he measures. He is a. Uh, 13 and 7 eighths 13 and 7 eighths but my goodness when I set the hook into that fish it was like sticking a stump no give hardly at all just a big old mm, linebacker let's let him go right here my 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 that is a giant all right they ain't nothing else for me to do except for to catch another one. Okay. Whoa! That's the depth right there. Around 22 inches. That's where the fish are. We know that. I've been getting a lot of questions about braid. Ain't you scared to fish with braid, Richard? You know, there's no stretch in it. Well, what I do, folks, is I make sure the rod that I'm using is real limber. Forgiving. And another thing I'll do, I'll adjust my drag to where to slip on the hook set, uh, providing it's a big crappie. That one there is about nine and a half inches. Let's let him go. Go on back there. It makes a big difference right there. But I like to fish with mono, braid, fluorocarbon. It don't make any difference. It's just braid is... It don't have any forgiveness, so you have to watch it a little bit on your hook set. Make sure you don't set it too hard. Sometimes that's hard to do, though. There's another one. There's a few crappie right there set up in front of that tree. Not big ones, but they're there. That sharp truce jig would get it. Them tube jigs are just about forgotten. They're an old crappie bait, but they work just as good as anything you can buy now. See, these fish don't even know that I'm here, folks. I'm facing the wind, throwing it into the wind. They don't have no idea I'm here. All right, I can't get another one to bite there, so let's work with the tree right here a little bit in a different place. There's one. They moved over that way is what happened. That's a good one. That's a good one. Golly. My, 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 my. Where are you going, boy? He didn't like it when I stuck that hook in him. My goodness, that's a good crappie. Oh, there's a lamprey eel on him. I'm going to get that thing off of him. I don't like them lampreys at all. Come on in here. That's a big crappie. Man, that's a huge crappie. I'm going to show you that one to y'all too. Where's that eel? That eel fell off in my net. Can y'all see him? Let's just dump him out right here. Them are nasty things right there. Old sucker mouth. See that sucker? I'll show you what his old mouth looks like right here. Look at him trying to suck. Kinda, kinda reminds me of a shark sucker in salt water. Or that's what we called them. Boy, that thing, look at him. 
Look at that old thing, old white, little old beady eyes on him. He looks a lot like Clarence. Clarence has got a big, broad head, but he's got little old bitty eyes. Like that thing right there does. That's a good fish right there. I'm having some fun right now. I've got them figured out, no doubt, in this muddy water. I've been having to fish muddy water, so I've got to figure them out how to catch them, folks. But that, that thing's bothering me, that old sucker fish uh, thing. Let's let this crappie go right here. <clears throat> we'll deal with that old sucker thing right here in a minute. Big old slab fish. Now let's deal with this sucker fish. Or sucker eel. Lamprey eel is what it is. Let's look at him. See that old sucker right there? Quit. They got an old round mouth on them. Like Bursal. Bursal ain't got no teeth and his mouth is perfectly geometrically round. Like this thing. Look at sucking. Hey, look. I can't get him. Well, I don't want. Look. Y'all hear that pop? But look at that old sucker. Round mouth with teeth all the way around it. Ain't that ugly. I don't know if I should throw him. I'm going to let a bird or something eat him. Is what I'm going to do. I ain't going to put him back in the water. Them's evasive deals there and they're nasty. Good luck to you, feller. Get that old thing out of here. That thing's got an old sucker mouth on it. Let's see if we can catch another big one right there. I'm at a little different angle, but it's in the same place. That bait's in the same place. I'm just more or less letting the wind move that jig up and down like that. That's, a, that's the key to fishing like this. Anyway, just make a cast to your target. And those little ripples will do the work. That jig's going just like that. Right in front, and when it gets in front of his face, he'll eat it. There he is. I got you, old boy. Or so far I do. Yeah, bite my jig. <laughs> Let me know you're there. There's a good one. That's a black crappie. Boy, I'm having to fish slow, folks. But let this be a lesson. Muddy water. <clears throat> oh, I'm going to have to get my pliers and get that one out. Muddy water, you can't fish too slow. Got him in the tough part right there. But that fish hit it. And I missed him and I kept messing with him. <clears throat> until I caught him. I had to. I can't let him go by. I can't let him slide by like that. Let's let him go. Pretty black crappie. It's been a while since I've, been, I've fished this way. I used to fish this way a lot for you. Those of y'all who's followed my channel for all these years, I used to catch a lot of big crappie like this. I mean, big ones. It's just a kind of, it's a technique that's second to none when it warrants this technique. All right, let's slip back up here and see if we can't catch our another one. Yep, there's another one. This one's bigger. This one is, oh, uh, well, he's just mean. <laughs> what about that? There's two fish right there. I'm a little bit over it, over, overly, I can't talk, overly excited today. Beautiful fish. 
Golly. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Got him in the tough part of the mouth again. The reason why, well, I always mention it on most of my videos. Uh, open the gap. That's a size six hook. And I open the gap. And it's hard to miss them like that. It'll stick them when you point that point up just slightly right where it is in that crappie's mouth. Instead of sliding, it'll stick them immediately. But there's another big one. Or good. Well, folks, that's going to end it for today. I'm give out. <laughs> I am. I've, I've had to fish very thorough, slow, patient. And it don't seem like fishing that way would give you out, but it, it did me today. I had to really focus and concentrate. But that's the sport of fishing. I want to say God bless each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for all the great comments. And thank you very much for buying the Richard Jean, the fishing machine merchandise. Woo. <laughs>